Hello you beautiful people and welcome to today's video. So um, this almost didn't happen. Um, things were happening yesterday where I was like, yeah, I don't really feel like filming. <laughs> and, um, but today things are better, so... Um, and for those who are wondering, my cat wasn't feeling too bad, uh, too hot, um, was feeling kind of bad and... It was a scary day again, <laughs> so um, yeah, but he's, uh, we visited the vet and he's better now, so I felt like filming is a good idea to just do something that makes me happy and um, to do something to uh, keep my mind off of things. And um, I ask you guys, um, if you want to read can pause. I use my sketchbook as a little diary, if you don't know. So. Um, yeah, I asked you guys on Instagram what we want to do in this video. So you guys said you wanted a sketchbook session. And I also had a few people asking me for a tutorial. Not, not that many, <laughs> very few to be honest. But I thought I could combine these two things into one video. Because the tutorial you voted for um, was about drawing expressions and I thought we could do this together today in my sketchbook, like as a little hybrid of a, you know, sketchbook session and um, tutorial. I'm not very qualified for tutorials, but I will try. Um, I will try to give you some knowledge. Uh, it's not quite a tutorial, it's just how I do things and um, what I know about expressions. So I think we should take a sip of coffee, stay hydrated, get your water and coffee or whatever. And um, maybe you want to draw along, I don't know. Mm. I don't know anything. So. Let's start. So expression is, uh, drawing expressions on your characters is a good way to get across emotions. Big brain energy there. Um, I don't know where I wanted to go with that sentence, to be honest. I should have scripted this, but what fun would that be? So what I do, um, I don't know if I need to... Can you see that even? I hope so. So what I do is, you know, my style is pretty uh, cartoony. I don't know if this would apply to you, but yeah, my, my style is a cartoonish one. So I'm gonna draw like that. Cause it's also, since it's more exaggerated with the features and all, it's easier to bring across emotions in a cartoony style I will not <laughs> I will not fight anyone on that um, so what I do is I I draw these are not my eyes these are just placeholders for my eyes and eyebrows for the eye sockets if you will so here is where I have my nose this is also a good help and here is where on a relaxed face the eyebrows would be so let's just quickly draw the mouth. We have a relaxed face in here and some eyes. They are usually smaller than your eye sockets. And what I do is I connect the eyebrows to the eyes in the sketch. I do this very lightly usually and you don't really see it, but I'm gonna do it for the sake of this video so you can see it. So like this, I'm not very good <laughs> at explaining and I don't know if I should make this video in the first place, but oh well, here we are. Here we go. Here she goes. <laughs> so 
let's give this character some pupils. It's a relaxed, happy face. Let's give him some hair. I've decided it's a boy like this. So if I'm outlining this now, um, of course I will not outline all the lines that I just made to help me understand my face. Sometimes my outlines differ a bit from my sketch. Because I often get bored when I just trace the sketch, so I kind of redraw um, the face in the stage of outlining. So this is how I would outline this face now. like this and <laughs> with with a very dark sketch underneath he looks a bit like Beetlejuice so I'm gonna erase it a bit so you can see the outlines better so this is how it looks without the sketch and what you can do with this technique is um, you basically squish the um, Basically, basically squish the face in different directions. So if I'm having a, an angry person, I have my eye sockets. And here would be the eyebrow if the face was relaxed. But it's not because it's angry. So we're gonna... You can put a mirror on your desk or you can use the camera on your phone to see how these um, expressions would look on a real face and that could maybe help you draw them in a cartoony one or in your style. So the corners of the mouth go down because this is an angry face. I, I don't know if this is even helpful. Please let me know if I'm even helping you. What I did to learn expressions is to try what effect um, certain lines have. So you can see this is an angry face. Let's draw this. Let's just draw the eyebrows. But it would be a completely different expression if I would have um, had an eyebrow that was like up here. We can try this in the next sketch. Also when you're angry sometimes your nose gets a bit, because you're breathing so hard, gets a bit wider. can use that. And I really encourage you to um, to go all the way and to go silly and to be on the uh, be in danger of making your character a bit ugly. You know what I mean? Because when I was younger, I wanted to draw. Oh. <laughs> I wanted to draw my characters very pretty and beautiful all the time, but that's not very helpful if you um, want to draw comics and stuff. It's not going to bring you very far, because you want to have different expressions and you want to um, bring across different emotions and your character just looks the same all the time not gonna happen so let's just draw the angry symbol and um, what if you if you, <laughs> what I want to say was um, if you wanna give him like your character give your character um, shadows and they are angry you can use it like this so you make this area across the nose right here a bit darker. That always uh, works for me. <laughs> I cannot tell you exactly why. 
but I think it has to do with how your face warps um, when you're angry. Shading a bit, nothing special, like just a bit of shading. So about what I said earlier is to experiment with different lines. And one key factor in your expression I think I should take a different pen to sketch because the blue doesn't really show up. I think I'm gonna take this. Yeah, the red is better. So you need to experiment with um, your lines. And one key factor are the eyebrows. The eyebrows are a key to um, making your character look a certain way. So. If I have them both like this, they are angry. But if I take a step back and put one up, they look skeptical. Wow! Of course I need to change the mouth accordingly. Um, I learned a lot from watching other cartoonists um, and what they do. And as they say, steal like an artist. So if you find um, a style, like we are all in certain categories with our styles, like more, some are more cartoony, some are more um, into manga and anime, and some are more realistic. Um, if you, you're probably in a little bubble on Instagram where you follow artists um, that have similar styles. Maybe you have collections on Pinterest with drawings of artists who have similar styles. And um, if you have trouble stylizing a certain aspect, like the mouth, the nose, the eyes or something, um, it's always good to have a pool of other artists and to, to see how they stylize the mouth, the teeth, and the ear, and the eyebrows. So yeah, basically the whole face, and um, that can help you understand how certain lines look. So let's draw this skeptical face, and I really encourage you, try out how eyebrows affect your expression and the shape of the eyes, the shape of the mouth, and all that good stuff. Because with experimenting you will learn a lot about your style and how you use lines and all of that kind of things. It will help you if you just, um, if you just try. And if it looks bad, then you can go into the next drawing and to the next drawing and once you've practiced a lot, it will get easier and you will get more out of your drawings. So, oh, you didn't see um, <laughs> the down part, I'm sorry. I'm very professional, let's zoom out a bit more, like this. Okay, what, um, I wouldn't necessarily use the same shadow on this person. It's also important, um, this is not a tutorial about shadows, but um, Shadows always will follow your form, even if you're drawing into, if you're drawing in a cartoony style, um, you have certain forms. Like this is not a flat thing. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Again, this is not a flat uh, thing. You have to imagine it like a tube. You, it's just not see-through. So your shadows will not be straight most of the time they will bend a bit alongside of your shape. I hope this is a bit helpful to some of you. As well as with your eye eyeballs, like if you want to shade them, the eyeball is, as the name suggests, a ball and the shadow will curve around it. All right, so we have those expressions. How about we drawing a sad face? There are a lot of different sad faces. There are very subtle sad emotions. There are crying faces, but let's go all the way. And for expressions, you don't only have the eyebrows. 
you also have the shoulders. The shoulders convey a lot of expressions. A lot of people who study like gestures in people and um, I don't know the term <laughs> right now but there are people out there who study people's body language and sometimes people refer to the the um, shoulders as the body's eyebrows because you can convey a lot of emotion with them like if you 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 look for it you will see a lot of people a lot of um, different emotions and people how they have their posture and stuff like when you're watching a movie or a documentary you just look or if you're watching um, people outside they all have a different body language and you can learn a lot from that and I think expression doesn't always only happen on the face but also with the whole body so we can use the next page for that about Aber. <laughs> I'm just using the German word for bud. But like, um, first we are going to draw the crying face. With a sad face, of course, the eyebrows point upwards. And maybe you can use a lot of different eye shapes, like different emotions. This can also be a happy eye shape. But the way the eyebrows are used, this is now a sad face. Of course, there's tears coming from his eyes, with it, which is in most cases a sign of sadness. Or it can also be a sign of anger, very intense anger. Uh, people sometimes also are crying, like if this dude was also crying it would be very intense emotions but he's just a bit pissed so so as you can see he has his shoulders up down here and i just looked up at the camera to see if i'm in frame um and he's just like making himself a bit smaller to not to be like don't attack me i'm i'm in a vulnerable position so like this i hope this please let me know in the comments if this is any helpful so okay the next step let me zoom you out a tiny bit more like this um need a sip of more coffee oh all right as i mentioned um expressions only don't only um happen on the face they happen with your whole body so let me give you a little example of that so if you have someone standing like this their chest out maybe their hands in their hips this is one of my favorite poses to draw by the way because it's easy <laughs> so just drawing a little kind of stick figure person over here so and i will use my i'll use my um, brush pen to quickly outline this this figure Oh, I gave him a t-shirt. Well, then we're not going with a uh, stick figure. We just go with very simplistic posture. It's just to get across a point. So we have this guy and this guy looks very, very confident and happy. And he's just having a grand old time. And now we're doing the opposite. We're making him a bit scrunched over maybe he's fumbling around with his hands his shoulders are up he's very is very closed gesture this is very open he's very insecure doesn't want to be really noticed
doesn't like being here, obviously. So, if we, I just, I'm outlining him real quick. Why do I always draw guys? I need to draw more, more females in this spread. So like this, gets a bit of hair. Like this. And he is just nestling around with his hands and he's has his shoulders up to his ears almost. Very nervous. Maybe he wants to give a love letter to his crush or something. So like this. And if he would, there's where um, the very famous line of action comes in. The line of action is basically the line your gesture um, moves across on. And um, in this case, it would be like this, it would be very dynamic. And you can see he's curled inward a bit like a shrimp. <laughs> it's not exactly like this, but you see the the grand point of it, I think. So, as you can see, expressions happen with body on the face. Like the whole body is affected by your mood. You, you can notice this on yourself when you're sad and down. You will have a another posture than when you're very happy and um, very cheerful, or when you're angry. Or whatever um, every emotion has hit, has their um, different effects on the body so yeah and you can use that as an artist to just to get across your point and especially in animation and cartoon uh, the expressions are very accelerated to show them very quickly. So let's draw a happy one. We haven't drawn a happy one really. So as you can see, corners of the mouth peeking up and squishing the face up too. This is why when you genuinely smile or laugh your eyes get a bit squished because your whole face is affected by a genuine smile or laugh. And you can try what happens when you draw an expression like that but also you move the eyebrows in a different direction so this is a happy face right Let me get you a bit closer again this is a happy face and I can use the properties of a happy face and draw an completely different emotion. I hope you can see. Let's just draw something here real quick. I draw a happy smiling mouth. I draw the happy eyes. The eyebrows would be over here. Like this. But now it's an evil laugh because I put the eyebrows down like this. It's a villain, a villainous laughing that their evil plan <laughs> worked out. I screwed up the eyes a bit but it's fine, it's um, <laughs> you know what I wanted to tell you, right? So yeah, um, this is a bit of a short sketchbook session 
in my case, I even I haven't even drank my whole coffee. But I wanted to try to just um, show you what I know about this topic and um, I know I barely get feedback sometimes but um, if you enjoyed this please let me know in the comments down below and like this video. <laughs> just give me some kind of feedback that you like um, what I did or that you didn't like it. I just want uh, to know what you want to see from me so yeah thank you very much for the people to the people who voted in the poll on instagram and um, this was a lot of fun i did not expect to have fun explaining things and i don't know how good i am at that but like you know um, let me know if you enjoyed this and if there are other topics you want to know more about and um, maybe i can i can make another video like this where i very shortly explain um, the very, 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 very basics <laughs> um, that I work with. So yeah, that's it already. Thank you very much for watching. Um, we see each other next time. And until we see each other, please do something that makes you happy. Bye.